Hello, welcome to Green Building Academy's Lead AP BD plus C examination preparation course Lead AP BD plus C made easy. The objective of the course is to prepare yourself for Lead AP BD plus C examination within 6 to 8 weeks from now. From our experience in teaching lead courses for the last 5 years, our observation is that the candidates who took the examination immediately after the course passed the examination with least effort. Candidates who did not take the examination for the next two months never took the examination and they often take refresher course with us again. So we strongly recommend you to go for the examination within 6 to 8 weeks from now. Most of you know us from our lead green associate course. In case if this is your first course with us, I would like to introduce me and my team. My name is Bazi Ahmad. I am basically a mechanical engineer. I have graduated in 1999 from Baradas University, India. I have done my masters in heat power engineering from Birla Institute of Technology, popularly called as BAT Mishra, again from India. From 2002 to 2006, I was into academics. I was teaching refrigeration and air conditioning, heat and moss transfer, thermal engineering, fluid dynamics, computational fluid dynamics, etc. From 2006 onwards, I am into construction sector. Specifically, I am into MEP contracting, energy audits, green building consultancy, CFD simulation for buildings, etc. In 2007, I got qualified as Certified Energy Manager and Energy Auditor from Bureau of Energy Efficiency, Ministry of Power, Government of India. In 2008, I got qualified as Lead AP. Subsequently, in 2010, I got upgraded to Lead AP BD plus C. In 2011, I got qualified as Lead AP Operation Maintenance. In 2014, I got qualified as ASHRAE Certified Building Energy Assessment Professional and GSAS Certified Green Professional. I have been conducting lead trainings from March 2010. So far, I have trained more than 2000 professionals in the last five years. I would also like to introduce our team who helped us in preparing the course content. Arshad Siddiqui is an architect. He is a lead AP with two specialties, BD plus C and ID plus C. He is a trainer and consultant with Green Building Academy. Mr. Balaji is a civil engineer. He is a lead AP BD plus C. He is also an IGBC AP and GSAS certified green professional. He is a consultant with Green Building Academy. Mr. Naveen Raj is a mechanical engineer. He is a lead AP BD plus C and GSAS certified green professional. He is a mechanical engineer with Green Building Academy. Who should attend this course? The course material is prepared assuming that the candidates have already passed lead green associate examination or at least the candidates have attended a course for lead green associate examination preparation and they are familiar with the basics of lead and green buildings in this course we will have a review of the basics but if you are not familiar with the basics of green buildings and lead we recommend you to take lead green associate course first we are not going to cover the basics in detail in this course. The course content is divided into nine chapters. The first chapter is about lead rating systems and lead certification process. Lead rating systems is covered in chapter two of lead green associate course. Similarly, lead certification process is covered in chapter 11 of lead green associate course. So chapter 1 is going to be just a review of contents in lead green associate course. From chapter 2 to chapter 9, we are going to discuss each prerequisite and credit of various lead categories. We will start with location and transportation followed by sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, indoor environmental quality, integrative process and finally the bonus categories innovation and regional priority integrative process is the first category addressed in lead reference manual but we are going to cover it only in chapter 8 because the requirements of integrative process are closely related with water efficiency and energy and atmosphere so you will have a better understanding of integrative process if it is discussed 
after studying all other categories. Before we conclude this session, here are our tips and recommendations to prepare for the exam. Number one, you'll have to spend at least one to two hours a day consistently on daily basis for the first five weeks. Consistency in preparation is the key for success. If you leave a gap for two to three days, there are good chances that you will forget what you have learned and may have to start from beginning again. You'll have to spend longer hours during the week before the examination. Expect longer questions in the examination. You'll have to develop patience and concentration to read and interpret from longer questions. You'll have to actively participate in the course. We strongly recommend you to take notes throughout the lecture. Whenever you have questions, use the forum to clarify your doubts. You can also reach us through emails, but we strongly recommend you to use the forum for all your questions. This is because the questions are often duplicated and we have to reply several times. Our study materials are prepared in a reader friendly way. Use our study materials as a primary study resource. Refer to the reference manual whenever you need more explanation or clarification. Reference manual is not generally reader friendly. We strongly recommend you to solve more practice questions. With this short introduction, we will go to the course content. Thank you and good luck for your lead AP BD plus C examination.